my sister had twin nephews, um, or twin boys, excuse me, not nephews, they're my nephews. She had twin boys, and I'm actually on my way now to go see them. Um, I got to see them a little bit, you know, after they were born, and, and she's, uh, the fellow she's with, you know, they, he's got a big family, and we got a big family, and we all, you know, our family comes from a family of divorce, and so does, you know, or uh, his don't, but he's got a lot of, he's got siblings, and they got families, and everybody's been over there to visit. Our family is a, is a family of divorce, and I call her my sister all the time, and I know a lot of folks are like, oh yeah, your dad, no, no, no. My dad and my mom got divorced when I was two. Um, my mom remarried when I was like seven. No, she started dating this guy when, when, I, when I was about seven. And my sister, I called her my sister, Brandy, was Dave's daughter. And they got married and spent, I don't know how many years together, 15, 17, something like that years together. And they divorced when I was off in the military. I have a brother that's a, that's a product of the two of them. Uh, so Brandy and I are blood relations through Alex. Um, you, you've probably seen my brother on YouTube a few times. He's the big tall guy that looks like he's a giant compared to me. He's 6'5 and I'm 5'8. Um, but my sister, you know, she's, she's six years younger than me and my brother's 12 years younger than me. And I've kind of raised both of them. Um, through our stuff going on with parents and whatnot, a lot of times I was left alone with them, given a list of stuff that had to be done, and I took care of making sure that they learned how to do it, and they did it. And over the years, when times got tough between the parents, they have come and stayed with me from time to time. And um, I feel directly responsible for everything that happens to them. I, I feel more like a sibling or more like a more like a parent to my brother than I do a brother but now that he's older that that line is becoming blurred a bit because he is older now and he's established a family of his own and you know it's it's kind of a weird transition but my sister you know when, when our parents divorced she came to me and she was in tears and, and, and the biggest thing that bothered her was she said what does this mean about you and me and I told her I said this don't mean nothing about you and me You've always been my sister, you'll always be my sister. The fact that these two idiots can't stay married is their problem. But you're family. You'll always be my family. So, I, you know, I have, a, I have a, a half sister who lives up in Maine, Tristina, and I don't get to see her very often. I didn't, I didn't grow up with her. I didn't get to be an influence in her life. I didn't really get to show her anything, what it was like to be around me growing up, and, and, and I'm sorry for that. But, you know, distance is what it is. My dad decided to live in Maine years ago, and we've always lived here in the South, and that's just how it turned out. So, um, but being as it is, you know, I, I feel blessed in that I've got a large family in all different directions, and and I love all of them. And you know, now that now that we're all becoming adults, and we've got we're all having children of our own, or you know, whatnot. Uh, it allows me the opportunity to be an uncle to all these youngins that are being born and to share in the joy that is their life and world and I'm just excited to be a part of it. So I'm looking for this house. I don't know exactly where I'm going. I was told to look for a for a convertible. Chrysler Sebring in the driveway. That's supposed to be Marshall's car. I don't know exactly. Oh, there's a blue. There's a blue thing on the mailbox. But there ain't no car in the driveway. Huh. Let me get off here and see if I can figure out where I'm going. <clears throat> yeah, let's do that. Hey, I want to get my picture took. 